Uh, Sayyid from Saudi. Uh, Sheikh, I have uh, one question. One of my friend asked me about the difference between the prayer of women and men. I told him that there is no difference as far as I have known, and there is no Sahih Hadith about the differentiate of uh, women and men prayer. Because he sent me one video of Pakistani Mufti, he told that if there is no evidence in Hadith, so there is an istihad. So, just I'm asking, is there any istihad uh, we can apply or we can only follow what Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that there is no hadith, there, uh, there is no difference of the uh, prophet, uh, the men and women prayer. Okay, uh, I got your question. First of all, we have to have the etiquette of not agreeing, if I differ with you, we have to have this etiquette of accepting what you have to say, though I disagree with you. It's not my way or the highway. It's not, if you're not with me, you're against me. It doesn't work this way, especially in issues of ishtihad. I'm not talking about issues of aqidah. Issues of aqidah, we don't have any ishtihad in it. We don't have, I understand where you're coming from and I accept your difference of opinion. No, issues of aqidah is finalized. It's something by the, set by the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the three favorite generations. So I will not accept what you say, full stop. These, these are issues of aqidah. Issues of ishtihad, whether to put your hands on your chest or under your belly, whether you don't put your hands at all when praying, standing for prayer, I can understand and relate to this. Why? Because at the end of the day, is the prayer valid or not? So if someone says, Akhi, I differ with you. During Salat, I believe that it's okay for me to chit chat with those next to me and to call my mom and says, mom, I'll finish in five minutes. Uh, prepare the food, please. This does not invalidate my prayer. Things like this is Okay, with all due respect, we don't have anything to discuss because what you're saying is totally wrong. It goes against the Quran, the Sunnah, and the majority, if not all the Muslims. But when it comes to issues of dispute, is the prayer valid or not? So, if this Hanafi brother, if a woman prays like a man without any difference, so that when she prostrates, she distance her elbows from her body. When she sits for tashahud, she sits like a man, erecting her right foot, sitting on her left foot in iftirash, or uh, sitting on uh, her left uh, uh, buttock in tawarruk, if it's three or four rak'ahs, etc. So what's the ruling on that? Is her prayer valid or not? If he says it's valid, but she's not doing the right thing, I would say if she doesn't pray like the Prophet ﷺ and she conceals herself in rukur and she doesn't sit like the Prophet in salat, her prayer is valid. Touche. But if he says no, if she prays like the Prophet ﷺ, then her prayer is invalid. I would say here I beg to differ. What you're saying is totally bogus. It's not related to Islam. You want to have your ishtihad be my guest. I have my evidence. The Prophet said, Is this for women or for men or for all? Pray as if you see me pray. He never told women, though there were a lot of them, don't pray like this. Conceal yourself. Don't spread your arms away from your body when doing sujood or rukur. Don't do this, don't do... He never said that. So are you accusing the Prophet ﷺ of concealing knowledge and information? And then you come with ishtihad? Why would I take your ishtihad when I have the evidence from the Prophet's hadith ﷺ? At the end of the day, we should not make a big issue out of it. If they are so blind in following their scholars and their school of thought, that's their problem. As a Muslim, I follow the Quran and the Sunnah. You guys want to have your ishtihad that goes against the way of the Prophet 
That's your problem. You can't shove that down my throat. Definitely you cannot expect me to water it down and say to people, yeah, yeah it's okay. No, I would not say that. I would say what I'm convinced of according to the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. So I, I don't see a big issue unless they want to go against the way of the Prophet ﷺ and blind follow their um, imams or, or whatever.